seem like a financially irresponsible purchase, but I got it all on sale, so that negates everything. Hi everyone, welcome to the Bougie Pidoshi channel. For those who know me, hello again. For those who don't, I hope you stick around because today we are talking about my winter manga haul. Outside of what my sister surprised me with for Christmas, there were a couple volumes that I ended up getting in December as well. So instead of making a whole separate video for two volumes, I just kind of threw them in here. About everything in this haul came from the Right Stuff Anime Holiday Sale. This might seem like a financially irresponsible purchase, but I got it all on sale, so that negates everything. To start off, we have Girls Last Tour Volume 1 by Suku Mizu Sensei. This story is set in a world where civilization as we know it today is dead and two girls just wonder what is left of it. When I read this, the art really reminded me of Made in the Abyss. I'm not sure if I'll get the rest of this series, but I really feel like this was a great first volume. Manly Appetites Volume 1 by Mito Sensei. Handsome salaryman Minigeshi loves to feed his grumpy worker Otsu. I knew I was going to have a ball reading this from the start and I did. Mixing food and romance just fits perfectly for me. The dynamic between these two is absolutely hilarious and I can't wait to see the next volume. Yona of the Dawn volumes 9, 10, and 11 by Mizuho Kusunagi Sensei. I watched the anime adaptation for Yona a while back and I knew I needed to get the manga for the rest of it. It took me a while but like most of these volumes I got it heavily discounted during the Right Stuff anime holiday sale so it was the perfect time to hit send a shopping cart. Volume 9 picks up where the anime left off, and after reading these three volumes, I already know I need to start saving to get another chunk. Goodbye My Rose Garden Volume 2 by Dr. Pepperco Sensei. I absolutely love period pieces when it comes to manga, and this is no exception. This second volume definitely tugged at my heartstrings the entire time. So I hope to get the third volume soon so that I can see what happens next. Days of Love at Seagull Villa, Volume 1 by Kodama Naoko Sensei. This is actually the same mangaka that wrote the one shot I married my best friend to shut my parents up. Mayumi's fiance left her for her best friend, so she fled to the countryside where she meets Rin. Having a GL that features older characters just makes my heart so warm, so I'm already ready to see more. Next up, we have Moriarty the Patriot, Volume 2 by Ryosuke Takeuchi Sensei and Hikaru Miyoshi Sensei. The stories are based off of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's works. I had mentioned before that I was watching the anime adaptation as well and I really enjoy it. But right now it is on break so the second volume came in just in time to fill the void while I wait. Volume 0 of Jujutsu Kaisen by Gege Akutami Sensei. The long awaited prequel story is here. If you want more of my thoughts on this volume I actually made a reaction slash review that you can also check out on my channel. I definitely enjoyed it and I am glad that it has finally been officially released in English. Blue Period Volume 2 by Tsubasa Yamaguchi Sensei. Before going any further, I think it's important to mention that this volume did come with a trigger warning due to it containing mentions of suicide. This was a first for me when it comes to manga that I've read so far, and I'm glad that this warning was included and it also had information for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and the Trevor Project as well. As the main character Yaguchi digs deeper into his art, we go deeper into his character as well. I really enjoy this story so far and I hope that it does well. There is actually going to be an anime adaptation for Blue Period and it is scheduled for 20 2021. Here we have Volume 8 of Snow White with the Red Hair by Sonata Akiduki Sensei. Would y'all just look at my man's obi on this cover? If you have been anywhere close to my Instagram stories, you know how much I love Snow White with the Red Hair based off of the anime adaptation. The anime for Snow White with the Red Hair only had two seasons, and after doing a little bit of research, I found out that it does cover up to chapter 32 in the manga, despite it having an alternate ending. This is the part where Shirayuki and Zen finally have the talk about their future together. Not only does this series check off my boxes of romance and fantasy, but to top it all off, the main cast is grown. Honey child, can I get an amen? Y'all already know I love to see it. I am so glad that I decided to start this series and I can't wait to keep reading the manga and see where it goes. Sweat and Soap, Volume 5 by Kintetsu Yamada Sensei. Y'all already know I love me some sweat and soap. It is the holiday season for these two lovebirds and it is also time to meet the family. I'm really glad to see more people reading this and enjoying this series as well so I can scream about it to even more people when the sixth volume comes out. Moving on to some titles for our more mature readers. Starting off with An Incurable Case of Love Volume 6 by Maki and Joji Sensei. The trials of our Valiant One and Dark Lord continues. They are a lot closer now than in comparison to when we first started the series, but the twist that popped up in this volume shook me to my core. The final volume is scheduled to come out in April of this year and y'all I just might cry. Blue Morning Volume 
Volume 1 by Shoko Hidaka Sensei. This is another period piece that I threw in my cart on a whim. I was honestly just trying to get my cart up to free shipping. But the plot turned out to be really intriguing. There are some other series that I'm focused on reading right now, so this one will have to wait, but I'm definitely going to come back to it later. Our final volume for January was Therapy Game Volume 2 by Meguru Hinohara Sensei. It's been a long time coming, but I finally got it. Sensei is honestly just the gift that keeps on giving because they announced that they will be continuing Shizuma and Minato's story in the series Therapy Game Restart. I really hope that Sublime Manga will also get the license for this as well so that they can be printed in English. And like I mentioned before, outside of what my sister got me for Christmas, I did end up getting two other manga in the month of December. The first one being Love Me Love Me Not Volume 5 by Iosaki Saka Sensei. Y'all already know I love me some Iosaki Saka. In this volume, Ryo is finally starting to realize the gem that is Yuna. And every time I read this manga, it makes me want to see the movie even more. I really hope that there will be an English sub release sometime in the future. But until that day comes, class, I am more than happy to keep up with the manga. The other volume that I got in December was Requiem of the Rose King Volume 1 by Aya Kano Sensei. This first volume was on point, okay? And I've been getting into stories similar to this one, such as Prince Freya. There was actually an announcement a while back that there will be an anime adaptation for this series, and just from the first volume alone, y'all, I am excited. So now that we've covered everything in my winter manga haul, it is time to reorganize my shelf. So that's it! That covers all the manga that I got in December and January. As you can see, my shelf is a little bit different than how it used to be. I'm trying to maximize my shelf space as much as possible because even though my shelves are deep, they're not that deep. But we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you did today, make sure you hit that like, subscribe before you leave. But that's all I have for today, so bye!